really wasn't expecting this one at all. Like, yeah, I just, and also I also, you know, I, I, I understand why the name of this award has changed, but I really love being a woman and being a female artist, I do. I really love being a woman and being a female artist, I do. I really love being a woman. I really love being a woman and being a female artist, I do. I do. Alright guys, so I know that this is an old topic, okay, I done a video about this in the past, uh, however, uh, there's this new video that's going viral that's floating around, um, involving this trans black woman, uh, that is basically flaming Adele for saying that she loves being a woman, okay, in fact, this person, um, not only calls Adele transphobic, but also fatphobic, and blames black men for Adele saying that she loves being a woman, right? Who would have thought that in 2022, a statement like, I love being a woman would be so controversial, right? And uh, again, this is an old topic, but uh, it came back up because there's this video that's floating around uh, that was deleted by, again, this black trans woman uh, that is basically making this argument, okay? And I, I want to respond to it because... Uh, it's hilarious and uh videos are forever on the internet right even though this person deleted it because they got flamed so hard for this tech but before we get in that i just want to let you guys know that if you like my content and you want to support my channel please feel free to do so using the links in the description below you support the patreon you support the paypal you support the merch there are multiple ways to support the channel if you would like to do so and you can also support by purchasing one of these racist mugs, which is a uh, daily reminder of the definition of racist in 2022, according to the left, which is basically anybody who disagrees with the Democrat Party. And I'm going to tell you guys, uh, after seeing this video, I have a whole lot of ideas for some new mugs. So uh, check out the merch shop <laughs> for some uh, new mugs that are equally as hilarious as that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and play this video. So, Adele basically said out of her mouth. The name of this award has changed, but I really love being a woman and being a female artist. I do. I do. Don't take your anger out on trans people. Like, girl, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't have to be extra. So, if the Brit Awards decides, hey, we want to be more inclusive, why are you taking your big ass on stage? Oh, I love being a woman. When did you start loving being a, being a woman? When you were fat or when you were skinny? Because it's giving me fat phobia. Because you weren't saying you love being a woman when you were 250 pounds. But now you 150, you love being a woman. Girl, we know. We I, I'm not saying that she's transphobic, but she wanted to lick shots. She wanted to fire shots at the trans community. We know this. Just walk in your transphobia. Walk in your turf. Ism. I'm not saying that she's transphobic. Just walk in your transphobia. I'm not saying that she's transphobic. Did your black boyfriend tell you to say that? Because we know there's a lot of a lot of OTEPs, right? That you white girls love. You guys love these OTEPs. For me, I'd rather someone just say, yo, I do not like trans people. I'm a turf. I respect JK Rowling than these undercover turfs. Do you get what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that Adele is a turf. Why didn't you say you love being a woman when you got the second award? You waited for the gender neutral award to make that comment. Girl, catch the T. And this is why you see all of these people who do not like trans on YouTube. They're, oh, this is why the trans community is going crazy. And then you have like women especially black women. Oh, why don't we never hear from the trans men? Is it because of misogyny? Because trans women are so loud and like to take over spaces? Um, the spaces are for us, girl. The last time I checked, trans women are women. Trans women are not female, but trans women are women. So we're gonna be in women's spaces, whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not, cis is going to be in women's spaces all right guys so there's a whole lot going on there right there's a whole lot going on there but first i, I must get this person a tiny smidget of credit okay because um they're, they're not as far gone as a lot of people right when it comes to how the left is trying to basically misconstrue uh gender and uh sex even though they claim that they want to keep them different they actually are really trying to make them the same 
right? They're trying to say that uh, trans women are actually female too, right? And I'm happy that this trans woman is acknowledging that, no, 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 female refers to biology, right? Now, again, people can argue about the whole gender thing, right? But, but at the very least, let's keep it at female refers to biology, right? <laughs> that way we can somewhat have some semblance of reality here. Okay, which is good, which is good. Okay, but that, that's as much credit as I got to get this person because apparently Adele is not only transphobic in which this person said multiple times in the video that they're not calling Adele transphobic, but they actually are calling Adele transphobic. They call Adele transphobic multiple times, but she's also fat phobic, right? She's fat phobic uh, because she did not realize that she loved being a woman until she lost Wait, now if you guys aren't aware, uh, Adele used to be a bigger woman, okay, and then she lost weight, and, you know, she got a lot more confident, you know, she started showing off her curves, you know what I'm saying, she started, you know, being a little bit more proud of herself, right, showing her body off a little bit more, okay, and a whole lot of people on the left, particularly the um, fat acceptance movement, right, uh, they was like, oh, no, no, we don't like this, right, we don't like the fact that Adele lost weight, okay, uh, so apparently, you know, they don't care about Adele's health and, you know, the benefits of losing weight in terms of self-confidence, stuff like that. No, 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 no. She's fat phobic, right? Simply because, um, she's proud to be a normal body size. Okay. Yeah. Th th these mugs are going to be fire. Okay. I just want to let you guys know these mugs are going to be fire, right? I got all types of ideas coming down the pipeline, but anyways, so uh, according to this person, uh, Adele didn't realize that she loved being a woman. Until she lost weight, which makes her fat phobic. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I I just I can't right like what I mean. That's, that's the reason why this person de deleted the video, right? They put the video on private because they got flamed so hard for this take. Okay, now this person also goes on to uh, blame black men, right? Because apparently Adele has a black boyfriend. I didn't know that. But she, apparently she does, and this person's like, oh, did your black boyfriend tell you to say that? All right? As if, you know, hey, uh, black men are, are, are bigots, right, <laughs> for taking shots at the trans community. Because apparently saying that you love to be a woman is, uh, is, is transphobic, right? That's taking shots at the trans community, right? So you automatically got to blame black men, right? Because black men are stereotyped. <laughs> It's being homophobic and transphobic, right? Because there's a lot of people that say that straight black men, we are the, the uh, white people of the colored community, right? Of all the colored community, black men are the whites. <laughs> so that's the problem where that's coming from, right? And that's why she mentions the uh, the hotels, all right? Which is basically like a, um, it's, I don't even know if it's even exclusively black people anymore, right? I, I feel like I've seen some white hotels now. But uh, they're like a, a, a group of people that's more conservative, but they have like this Afrocentric thing going on, right? And they get a whole lot of hate from the woke revolutionaries, okay? Because they're kind of anti-woke, but kind of pro-Africa, Egypt, all types of stuff, right? It's, it, it's weird. I'm pretty sure I got a whole lot of hoteps that watch my videos. Shout out to the hoteps. But, so yeah, this person is accusing uh, black men of, of basically perpetuating transphobia as well too, right? Convincing Adele to, to say that, she loves being a woman, right? Um, and, you know, I, I guess there's a whole lot more in this video I could go over. But honestly, I mean, the takeaway here is that a lot of these people, man, this is what happens when you're obsessed with identity politics. Like, your whole life and existence becomes about identity, right? And you notice in this video, this person's like, oh, the, the black men this, the black women this, the trans women this, the trans men that, you know? I mean, it's, it's one of these things which is like, your whole life is like color coded, right? It's color coded. And there are a lot of people out there that are just obsessed with this stuff, right? They're obsessed with being the other, right? Of being different, of having this identity that is supposed to make them unique and special in some way, right? That That's what this person is going for, okay? I'm special because, you know, I'm an oppressed person of color that is also a trans woman, right? Uh, and we're going to be in uh, women dominated spaces because trans women are women, but at the same time, it's transphobic to say that you're proud to be a woman, <laughs> bro. Somebody make it make sense, bro. Somebody make it make sense because if this trans person says, 
I'm proud to be a woman. Does that now make this trans person transphobic? <laughs> right? I wonder how that works. I wonder how that works. Right? I wonder how that works. But, hey, um, yeah, this person uh, got flamed so hard for this video in such a terrible take uh, that they had to private their video. But unfortunately, 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 uh, the internet is forever. So therefore, people are going to respond to it. And it is what it is. Right? It is what it is. I think a lot of these people need to realize that um, people don't necessarily dislike trans people because they're trans. As much as you do have some people out there in that community as individuals that say things that <laughs> are provocative, that are divisive, and, and they're trying to impose their worldview on everybody else in the form of mandates like you must say somebody's uh, preferred pronouns and things like that. People aren't particularly going to like their takes and their opinions, okay? So a lot of the anger is actually directed at individuals, not necessarily at the trans community as a whole. But some of these individuals speak so loudly, like this person right here, uh, that they make the whole community look bad, right? And therefore, people extrapolate that to believe that people just hate trans folks when that's not necessarily the case, right? I don't have a reason to hate anybody who's a transgender at all, right? I, I judge people by their individual characteristics, right? Their personality. The content of their character. I don't care about what's in your in between your pants or what you got removed or changed between your pants, right? I don't really care about that. But again, um, when you start trying to impose, you know, a lot of your views on society where you are alienating and marginalizing a certain group of people, like women, women are being marginalized now to the point where you know you can't say that you're proud to be a woman during a time in which women's sports and other uh, women's events are being, you know, kind of taken away right from them okay uh yeah when you can't even say that without being flamed as transphobic there's a problem there's a problem okay and <laughs> sane level-headed people aren't gonna like that but let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace